Ad is divided into two branches. This is in the Quran and it's also in the Sunnah. The first branch is bad things that have no benefit or wisdom whatsoever. They're just plain evil. And there is no evil that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what you see in life, anything that looks bad to you, don't ever say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees evil things. Evil only comes from people, not from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what is the bad that comes from Allah? They are the ones that are mixed with a wisdom that comes out of them. Allah created the good and He created the bad. The bad He created it only because from the bad there comes good. Without some bad there will be no good. And I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example, a scenario. A doctor, a surgeon, who you trust. If you took your child who has got a severe problem that requires surgery and you saw that surgeon cut your child open and you see all that blood coming out and the bones being cut out and he's taking out his organs and replacing organs and then stitching it up and giving him painkillers and going through months of agony will you still be grateful to that doctor or will you abuse the doctor you'd be grateful to Allah then to the doctor Thank you, doctor, for helping because my son's going to heal, inshallah. But was there pain? Was there ugliness? Was there some things that we see from our eyes as humans as bad? Allah created pain. He created some things that to us they look bad, but from them comes good.